being an engineer, I always say to I always say to other engineers, you're an artist. You're you are painting a picture. You know, you're painting an audible picture. Hey, I am Femi, Femi Bello. I go as Femi the Salmon. I'm a front house engineer. S- specifically today, I'm looking after H. We're headlining Park Life in Manchester today. We started working together in 2019. I got a phone call from his tour manager, um, Mr. Sean Bartlett. And it was a UK tour that ran into Europe. And he got asked to jump on the tour and mix front of the house so park life is a festival so even though we're headlining i don't get a say in what pa i get to use i don't get a say in what i want the pa to be hung so this is a pretty bigger production so i have crew to do a lot of things that i probably would have just done myself um so let's take a fly date for example where it's just I'm the only engineer that's flying and we're taking playback um, first thing I would have done is built a show file of all my inputs and all my outputs because um, you might have only 30 minutes to change over the next thing I would have done is check RF make sure the radio max and the AM packs work make sure the patch is correct that's according to the patch sheet that I would have sent over I just heard everything just listen to everything um, first, first thing you should do is always listen to things. Mm. Listen to the source, the radio mics. Listen to what the IM sound like. I do a walk just before the artist comes, um, and I'll give him his bell pack. On a show like this, where we have a, a full band, a lot of the times we have backline techs looking after the band's gear. We have. The monitor engineers are out. Normally, I do monitor from the front of the house, but to, I'm on this on this production. I'm only doing front of the house. So we have two techs that will do the line check and make sure all the microphones are in the right positions. Yeah. On this gig, I'm just pushing the faders up. So I have got the Midas HD96. It's the Midas's brand new console at front of the house. Um, I am also using some live plugins via UAD Live. It's doing little things, nothing crazy. A lot of what I'm doing is on board the console. I absolutely love Midas. And no one has a gun to my head telling me to say that I absolutely love the sound of their product. Actually, true story, my first ever festival was on a Pro 2 at Front of House. It was Love Saves the Day in Bristol. And I remember I I got told about the festival two days. I'd never used the Midas Pro, I'd never used the Pro 2 before. I got two two days to learn it. Um and then a couple YouTube videos later, I was in, I was in, I was I was I was making it work and it was it was great, it was a great experience for me. So I've been doing sound for a long time, since I was a kid. Um since I was like probably five. We had one of them big stereo systems that had the equalizer, it had the, the vinyl player on top, had the cassette player on, in the middle, and, and it had the CD ROM on the, on the bottom. And um, from young, I can remember just taking it apart and putting it back together, taking the, spe- the, the speakers apart, you know, put a rewire in it and putting it back together. Um, so I've always had that technical interest of how sound kind of works from like that perspective as i said before i'm a session musician so i was doing a lot of gigs some would say i was the, the frustrated session musician that turned sound engineer basically but yeah one day i just got a phone call you know could you do so i would always had the knowledge i just never put it to practice i was always interested in what was out the new microphone or the new iem belt pack or the new whatever it was i just never did it myself until I started doing it. A lot of people have asked me, how do I get in? How do I get in? There is no magic doorway into this industry. You're just in it. And you're already in it from the minute you start creating. Think outside of the box. Obviously, 
keep the, the, the primary principles of sound in your heart. Um, understand the basic structures of being a sound engineer, what that means. But then when you're at a level where you've mastered that, think outside of the box. Do things that, try, you know, try and break the ceiling. Do things that people haven't done, you know. Be versatile. Um, learn how to use all technology every single type of mic broaden your knowledge sit with an other older engineers understand their workflow try and improve your workflow you know don't stop learning I've been saying this to a lot of people recently and it's live your life like you're about to jump out of a plane like you're about to skydive and do that because like life is short and also your talent and your skills is your parachute. So make sure before you jump, your parachute is, is ready to go. But have faith when you jump that your parachute is going to open. That's your skills and your talent that it's going to take you wherever you need to be. So you're going to be wherever you need to be, basically. Femi the sound man on everything. That's Instagram and Twitter. <laughs>